so how long have you been making reels? How long have I been making reels? I have been since 1993 is when I started toying around with it as a hobby more than anything just so that I could have something to fish with. I took a bamboo rod making class. I made a, a cane trout rod by hand where you hand plane all the strips out and took, you know, just a simple little two day class. And that's kind of what started it. And there was a magazine article that I had seen before. It was a photo pictorial of one of the more famous reel makers, Stanley Bogdan. And that kind of just stuck in my head. And then after I made the bamboo rod, I was like, well, now I have to make a reel for the rod. And by that time, I'd already started steelhead fishing. And so I'm like, well, I don't really want a trout reel, so I'm gonna make a big reel. And that was really where it began. One day at a time, one part at a time. It's been a, a journey of, well, it, it's gonna be a long journey, just getting better every day, but it, it's just been wanting to do it. I, I saw what the reels that I liked looked like and um, ended up wanting to design my own, more or less just to catch fish with it. It truly just started out as a couple of reels, one for myself and one for my dad, and that was really all it was gonna be. I just, just decided at that point in time I was gonna do it, and I had a friend at work who had a machining center in his garage, and he basically gave me a 15 minute lesson on machining, the key to his garage, and said, have at it and have fun. So, that's how I ended up doing it. Uh, these reels are, they're bench made, which means the process is done on manual equipment. I hand turn almost every part for this particular reel. And uh, the only things that I don't actually physically make are the sealed ball bearing races that go in that nice little hole. And a lot of the screws I don't make, but almost all of them are altered. The rest of this is done basically by hand. And as you know, as you file and finish and do whatnot for this type of stuff. Uh, how does it compare? Uh, most of the reels made today are made with computer controlled machinery. It's a lot faster. Um, but I would say that mine are built more down a classic line. It, it goes back to a design that was really has been around since the late 1800s, early 1900s, and truly popularized um, in the 1950s is when you know the design really more or less made its mark. And through that, it's it's really hard to compare the two. I mean, they, they both do the same thing. They hold line, they, you know, they let fish pull line off, you wind the fish back in. But it's the beauty, the elegance, there's a fine jewel-like quality to these that you may not find in other reels, and they're definitely not mass-produced. I'm the only person that makes them, and there's a lot of people that appreciate that, you know, to be able to get a product in today's day and age that is handled by one individual. Uh, the reels show soul. A lot of people, they want something unique. I think everybody tries to do that at one point in time or another, and these are definitely unique. They're rare. And it, as a friend says, that if the fishing's kind of slow, which it very often is in steelhead and salmon fishing, you're going to go a lot of casts between fish, and sometimes days and sometimes weeks. And it's just nice to be able to look down there and see a beautiful handcrafted reel that the rod gets you daydreaming and kind of lets the next cast just drift on through. Fly fishing to me, ooh, that's, that's just a, a loaded question. Um, to me, I guess it would be the spirit of it. It is um, kind of borders on an art form if you want to take it that far when it comes to the handcrafting of the flies. Uh, the cast itself can be a thing of beauty. There's a simplistic rhythm to it. And I think that more than anything kind of defines why I really like it. You're in beautiful places. Uh, the rivers themselves meet some great people. Um, friendships that develop where you will just meet once a year at that time of the year. I've been seeing people in the same rivers now for over 20 years. Um, it just it all goes hand in hand to create a total experience.